quick disclaimer, I am the furthest thing you will ever see from a lawyer. This is not legal advice whatsoever, and you should always talk to a intellectual property attorney if you're considering getting a patent on one of your fishing lure designs. All right, let's briefly cover the chatterbait patent because it's not directly related, but I think it's a good example of a completely new style of bait that is that was patented that has problems with the patent and they've kind of extended it along. So I've recently found out that there were baits before the chatterbait came out that were chatterbaits. They were called something else. They came out before that. They were sold commercially before the patent was issued. And so in all likelihood, that patent is not valid. And I know what you're saying, like, well, dude, like, if it's not valid, just, you know, it's not valid and they're gonna kick it off the market or whatever, blah, blah, blah. There's no patent police that are gonna come and knock on the door and serve a, war a warrant at Zoom World Headquarters to say their patent is invalid. These are all civil matters, so someone has to sue them. And again, as I discussed earlier, millions of dollars. Probably just isn't worth it. Also, there's a lot of talk about the patent expiring soon. I think it's in 2026 or 2027, something like that. But what they did, which is, um, I don't know what sneaky move is the right term, but they actually filed the patent twice. So you have the original Chatterbait patent and uh, you know has a lifespan of, I wanna say 25 years. And then you can file the same exact patent again and you can amend it when you have new advancements to that technology. So what they've done is they released the Hellraiser and they put the Hellraiser's changes into that patent that was hanging out there. They refiled it and they got a new patent. It covers the original patent and it has been amended to also cover what they did with the, um, why am I drawing a blank? <laughs> The Hellraiser, bro. Of course, the Hellraiser. Awesome lure, by the way. Love throwing that thing. It's really cool. So it has a different blade on the back, right, with a weight. And so they, they changed the, they didn't change. They added that design to the patent. And so they get a new patent that covers the same old stuff as well as this new stuff. And we're back in the same boat again. 25 years of no direct connect jig heads. That's my interpretation of it.